back to my channel and today I'll be talking about piercings and tattoos I'm never gonna get. So I've already done two videos like this before. I did an individual piercing and an individual tattoo one. I will link them down below in the description if you want to look at them because I won't be repeating anything I said in those videos. But I really enjoyed making those videos so I thought I'd make some more. We're gonna start off with tattoos. So number one is UV tattoos. There are multiple reasons why I wouldn't get UV tattoos. The main reason is because I don't quite understand the science. And if I don't understand the science, I don't want it in my body. We don't know how long they last either. Obviously there are guesses and all that sort of thing, but we really don't know the long-term effects. So that's the main reason I wouldn't get them. The other reason is that I don't see a situation where I would actually be able to see them. I understand them for people who maybe work as DJs. I think that would look really cool because you're in that sort of light situation all the time. I am never in that light situation and I'm not a big fan of UV lights. They really hurt my eyes and give me migraines. So it just doesn't sound like a good idea for me personally. Number two is eyeball tattoos. I absolutely adore eyeball tattoos. I think they look really cool. I've never actually seen them in person but I've seen so many people with them online and they always look really good. Even if they're faded and cloudy, I actually think they look better kind of cloudy. They look really interesting and alien, it's really interesting to look at. But the risks are so, so high, you can go blind from getting your eyeballs tattooed, and that is honestly my worst fear. So that's the main reason I wouldn't get them. It also just seems very, very painful, so even if nothing goes wrong, you're still in so much pain. I've heard people describe it online as having glass rubbed into your eye which just, oh my god, I cannot imagine how painful that is. That sounds absolutely awful. Number three is semi-permanent tattoos. I know that there is a name for these, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. But they are tattoos that you get done and then they're meant to fade within a year or so. But I've never seen one that actually fades fully. Even if they fade a little bit, they just look like a badly done tattoo and not a completely faded tattoo. And I don't quite understand the reason behind getting something actually stabbed into your arm. Like they get done like normal tattoos, they still have needles involved, but then they're not being permanent. In my mind, if you want a semi-permanent tattoo, get one that is not painful and is not going to cost you loads and loads of money. I understand it's an aesthetic thing, but if you look at pictures online of them fading, they look awful the whole time they're fading, if they fade, because again, some of them don't fade at all. So I don't see the point in them, so that is why I would never get them. Number four is the bottom of my feet. It just sounds so painful and that it wouldn't even last. I understand getting your palms tattooed because people are actually going to see them. Even though it's probably just as painful, if not more painful, to get your palms tattooed, I think they look really cool. But the bottom of your feet, who is going to see the bottom of your feet? Like, it's not something you see on a regular basis. And if you're in a situation where you have your feet out, like the beach, you still don't see the bottom of your feet. So I don't quite understand why you would go through so much pain to get something done that you can't even show off and it's going to fade pretty badly. So for me, I don't want to go through that much pain to have something that I can't show off and would fade really badly. Moving on to the piercings now, number five is belly button piercings. Personally, I find belly buttons a little bit weird. I find them a little bit creepy, so I just don't want anyone near my belly button and I don't want to show it off either. Belly button jewellery always seems to be the most intricate and the prettiest but to me, I just find it kind of creepy. I don't know what it is about it. I don't like seeing them on other people either because I just, again, find them a little bit creepy. Nothing against you if you have them. I'm sure you absolutely love it. But for me, I just really can't get over the ick factor of them. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about them. I just really don't like them. Number six is neck piercings. Most of the time, I either see them at the back of your neck where it's a barbell that goes through or people get those vampire bite ones here where they're dermals. I think they look so cute. They look so adorable. But I couldn't trust myself with them. I would rip them out all the time. I wear a binder and they're really tight and really difficult to get off. I worry about my face piercings and I can pull it away from my face but on the back of my neck I couldn't trust myself with it. I would rip it out and it would be a terrible disaster. So that is why I wouldn't get neck piercings. I'm just an untrustworthy person. Number seven is hand piercings. I don't think these are a thing in real life because I've never seen them done. I've only seen them online where it's like the webbing or like this bit of your finger. I can't imagine them lasting very long or being very practical. You use your hands all the time. Even if you're not in a labor intensive job, you will still use your hands. Like people use them to talk. If you go on your phone, you're still using your hand and it just doesn't seem practical. And I don't know how you'd keep them clean either because you have to wash your hands quite a lot the soap would irritate them like i said before if you're holding your phone your phone has a lot of germs on it it's actually awful and i can't imagine them being very good for the piercings 
So I think it's kind of just the placement of them, like the proximity to all the dirt and all the chemicals. Your hands move a lot, so it just doesn't seem practical. They don't even look good either, which is why I think they're more for shock value than actual piercings. But yeah, I would never get hand piercings. The final one for this video is elf ear piercings. For this, I'm not talking about the surgical procedure where they point your ears. I'm talking about when people get two piercings and they just squish their ear together like this. The reason I would never get this done is because it puts so much pressure on your ear because your ear is always going to be trying to spring back to its natural shape. It is not good for your ear. You're going to pull it through. It's going to get so irritated. It's never going to heal. They're just a terrible idea. If you want elf ears, you can get those like orbital piercings. Just get two at the top and then have a pointed kind of bar in it that goes above your ear rather than actually pulling your ear together. They look really cute and they actually look like elf ears as well. You can also just get like cuffs on your ear that make you look like you have elf ears. There's also a surgery, it's illegal here in the UK so I understand why people can't get that done. I would honestly love to get it done. I'd also like to get my tongue split but that's also illegal here in the UK. But yeah, I never get piercings that manipulate the body in a way it's not meant to be manipulated. They're just not safe, they're never going to heal and they're not going to look good for that long. So that was my very short list of piercings and tattoos I never get. I feel like there are definitely more I could think of. These were just the few I thought of this morning. If you have any piercings and tattoos you'd never get, please leave them down below in the comments. Like maybe you just don't like the idea of having a dagger on you. I'd really like to know your reasons why. While you're down in the comments, please give this video a like. That really helps me out. And subscribe as I post a new video every single week and I'd love to see you again. But until then, bye!